All right, folks, before we get into today's fly, I want to announce the winner of the five golden pheasant skins from the last video. And we've got Daryl Brown, Daryl Olson, Don Cogswell, Rick Payne, and DB. Check your comments, gentlemen. Send me an email. Let me know where you want me to mail these skins, and I'll get them in the mail to you tomorrow. Now, thanks to everyone who participated. If this tie along goes well, maybe we'll do it again next time with some different skin. Maybe something like a, a Lady Amherst pheasant. Those birds are beautiful. So today's pattern, it's another one for your terrestrial box. And I found it in Dave Hughes Essential Trout Flies. The pattern is called the Chugger. And it was created by Jim Schollmeyer. It's a simple tie, just a little bit of tan foam, some rubber legs, and then some snowshoe hair for a wing. And I assume it's a hopper, but it's kind of small, so maybe it's more of a cricket. But either way, this is a pretty fun bug. So there's one in the vise, a pretty simple little foam pattern called the chugger, which I guess it's gotta be a hopper. I can't think what else it is other than a generic terrestrial attractor pattern. But for a hopper, it's kind of small. This is a size 10 standard length dry fly hook. And I want to use some tan thread because I'm going with a tan color on this one. So we'll catch this in, take it back to the start of the bin. Now take some one and a half, maybe two millimeter foam. I think this is a two millimeter. Cut a strip, maybe a hook gap, maybe a little bit bigger. And I did try to round off the, the back. It's not really round, but it'll work. So just lay it on there, pinch it down, three or four, five maybe, good wraps, not real tight, you don't want to cut into the foam, but what I will do, I'll put a couple wraps under, over, under, and over. Sometimes that will help keep it from spinning on you. Okay, that's enough of a back end right there. Let's take our thread back up, another halfway up front, and do the same thing. This gives us the middle segment. Several wraps right here. I'll go under and over and under and over again. And now here's where we're gonna catch in the wing, which is just snowshoe hair. So we're gonna do a little bit of black and then top it with a little bit of brown. And we really can't do much. It's just not a, a big pattern. So I've got a small little tuft right here. Let's catch this in. Several wraps. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and snip this on the front, but not real short. We don't wanna risk it pulling out on us. I don't think it's going to. I think we'll be just fine. But shorten it up just a little bit. Do the same thing with a little tuft of brown. Okay, we'll lay this one on top and then just catch it in the same way. Three or four medium wraps right here. Okay, I think that's gonna work. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a little trim as well. Now we do have some legs on this thing. I'm just going with a little brown rubber. Got it folded over. This is maybe a, a two inch piece right here. Just gonna kind of lay it on the side and do two really loose wraps so I can position it so they're both coming off the sides okay. And that's probably close enough. All right, I think we're fine there. Now let's fold over the head and make a little bit of a, a bulbous head up here. That's also what makes me think this is kind of a hopper. A lot of hoppers do have big heads. So several wraps right here. These aren't real tight, but I am putting several down. And now I'm gonna whip finish it right here, the back of that head. And now we got some trimming to do. We don't want this big over flap right here. Let's cut this off pretty short and then just open these front legs up and then trim the legs to size. I like the back ones just a little bit shorter than the front ones. Probably doesn't make a bit of difference, but I've just kind of always done it that way. And I think that's close enough right there. So there you go, a nifty little terrestrial, probably a, some kind of hopper called the Chugger. I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.